and today we are going to be showing you basically the best way to get buckets of magic and see i have four right here and i'm going to be showing you the best way to basically get buckets obviously if you have your the advanced fishing unlocked which is in the heaven biome you can go there and grab those magic shards uh, but as you can see, currently, if you go to, where is it? I believe it is area 76. There is a machine. 77, there is a machine. As you can see, I could craft this for 5. 16, you can craft a huge potion. But the most recommended is this. The Magic of Enchant. It's currently worth 1 million gems. This is... And this is actually pretty OP. You can use this with 50 of the shards or 50 of the buckets. You get them from the advanced fishing and the advanced dig site. But, um, how do you... Obviously, there was a glitch where if you went to the dig site, if you went to the dig site, there was actually a bucket that would spawn right here. Obviously, if you had there would always if you haven't used this before there's a hundred percent spawn of a bucket there but then when you um when you kind of like um it, there was a glitch where you could have like a bunch of them a bunch of the buckets and uh, they and now they've fixed it so now i'm going to be showing you how to get buckets mainly buckets are very common to actually get First off, there is the basic way to gain buckets is from the free gifts. You redeem them. There's chance it spawns an orb. Let's see if I redeem it. Chance it spawns a green orb. As you can see, it didn't. Also, another way is to uh, redeem stuff. As you can see, I redeem that. VIP rewards and gifts. And also, if you have any of these gifts, I would highly recommend opening them. You could get a bucket like as you can see i didn't but with that you could get a bucket and with those buckets obviously you can do a ton of stuff you can also uh second off you can also get a bucket why is there two queen tabithas you can also i don't think you can actually get buckets out of here you know uh, you can get out of the man the lodge gift fags obviously i'm never getting that huge propeller cap but you can also get it out of the uh, crystal chest, which you also need uh, crystal keys for. The best way to actually get buckets my way is for the obbies or the mini games. Obviously, there's a chance you could get like the diamond shovel from here. But how it is, you just want to do the mini games. Like, as you can see, do the classic obby. New record. You don't really get that much. <clears throat> But you could do stuff like the minefield. Basically, how this works is you break chests and you get a ton of rewards, as you can see. They kind of buff these, as you can see, a bunch of green orbs. And as you can see, I didn't get anything, but you're bound to basically, as you can see, get a bucket. Obviously, I'm very unlucky and I'm not actually getting a bucket. Come on, a bucket, magnet flags. I don't really need a magnet flag. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need, a, I need a bucket. I'm so annoyed you can't even use your hoverboard. Let's break this. You can't even get anything out of the coins, but let's break this. Not even a single bucket. Wait, maybe I this. What you want to do is you want to teleport to the dungeon, area 79, and basically just mine these chests. This is by far, I would recommend, the best way to gain buckets. When you break a chest, there's actually a chance that you're most likely going to get something. So, as you can see, I didn't get anything there, but also gives you uh, better coins, and then you can use that to uh, dig deeper down. Obviously, I can use this and dig uh, deeper, so I can actually go deeper. As you can see, break, break the chest, there's so many. But there's actually a really OP strat for this. Shout out to Night Fox for this. So basically what you want to do is you want to dig one. And then you want to dig another one. And then what you basically want to do is you want to break every is And then you want to break another one down. Then you want to break all these. Reason why is one, because as you can see if we head to the top, there is no chests on this top layer. And if you go down, you will see the chests on the second layer. And you will also see the chests on the third layer and the fourth layer. And you will need that. 
So as you can see, what you want to do is you just want to go on each of these layers and you just want to break it. huge pet in Pets and Nine Nine. And so you can see, when you dig out the layer like I just did, just find a spot, dig one. Wait, wait no. if it breaks it, dig one, dig another one, dig three. Now you break this area because obviously there's none there. You just took all them, and then you can find the ones these areas and these areas. Best strategy ever. And also, if you can carry on, also if you have better shovels and you want more coins, you can be like me. And basically, just dig all your way down to your best area and just kind of start digging it, you know? But I would definitely recommend doing it from top to bottom, no matter how good your uh, shovel is. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if it helped you. Also, there's a shiny relic just around there. And anyways, like and subscribe, join the Discord server, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.